Have you ever owned a doll that just isn't right? One that you spot on your desk in the darkness of night, staring at you? Published in May of 2015, this footage of a haunted doll will make your toes curl. The doll in question, which looks creepy in its wide-eyed stare already, suddenly does something you least expect. It blinks. The person taking the video hurries off, likely not wanting to see what the doll will do next. One of the freakiest things about this footage is that the doll doesn't look like a little girl's toy. It's a full-grown woman doll, makeup and all. You don't expect an inanimate doll to suddenly blink at you in the darkness. When it does, that image stays with you. It haunts you. The power goes out and a man must go into the basement to find the circuit breaker. There's only one problem. This is where I hear the boning at night. Once he gets downstairs, his beam is swallowed in the darkness, and while fumbling around, he barely catches a glimpse of a pale face down there with him. And by the time he gets the flashlight to work again, it's already too late. Whatever this is, a face of, ghost or otherwise, I doubt it's a mask because at 50 seconds you can see its mouth open and its smile fade away as it lunges forward. It doesn't grab him and he is able to get away, so if this is real, then it could be one of the highest resolution ghost sightings ever caught on camera to date. This unbelievable capture occurred on a rural road in the middle of the night. Published by Scary Desk in September of 2021, a crew was driving to an unknown location when this happened. The semi-transparent figure appears to fall directly from the sky. It stays in place for a moment before shortly vanishing. Is this a phantom? CGI? Or do you have another theory? I guess this just goes to show you never know what you're gonna see when you look up at the sky. What would you do if you lived in a haunted house? YouTuber Charles Larita and The Mischief decided to film it. He posted this video in June of 2011, writing, My house is seriously haunted, and I'm still freaked out about this. In the video, he claims he always hears noises coming from his room, even when there's no one there. And while he's in his room, he feels a strange presence. After setting up a camera at night with the lights on, he discovered something strange around two hours into the footage. Here's what he found. The video shows a shot of the room, somewhat unfocused with a chest of drawers, a black guitar case leaning up against it, and a door. After a moment, the light on the chest of the drawers starts to shake back and forth slightly. Something falls off the top of the chest, and then the door to the left swings close with exactly no one in sight. Many in the comments are freaked out by this bizarre clip. With BTS Nelly Thickums writing, Move out of that house. Others agree they would have hightailed it out of that place. What would you do if this was your home? A YouTuber named Deep South Bama with Mr. Tom wakes up at 3 a.m. after, in his words, he heard some deep thuds around his house. When he goes outside, he sees strange activity around the flagpole in his local graveyard. These bouncing balls of light streak across the sky without a sound or any clue as to what they are. Sometimes they are dim and sometimes they are much brighter. Somebody said that they could be bats, but I noticed the lights always seem to stay at about the height of a person. It can't be flashlights because they keep going out after a second. It's impossible to tell what it is from this distance distance, and I don't think he wants to get any closer. Have you ever got the feeling that you're being followed? Poppy's Paradise posted this footage to Reddit writing, something is following me. The guy in the clip says he was driving when he noticed something outside in the darkness. He stopped his car on the side of the road to film whatever it is, and he shouts a greeting to the figure outside the window. There's something up here. Hello? As he drives slowly past, the something that he saw following him comes into view. The figure looks like a girl straight out of the ring, dressed in white with long black hair. The ghastly creature is seen only for a moment before the clip ends. Is this thing truly following him? We can only hope this was his only sighting. You would need serious courage to stay calm in a situation like this. 
Michael Jackson may have made a spirited cameo in YouTuber Kelsey Davies' adventure in the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Accompanied by Omar Gosh TV, Kelsey enters the Los Angeles Cemetery, where the King of Pop was laid to rest in 2009. Drawn to over here, like I just felt like I needed to look on these walls, and all of a sudden, we find Margaret. Which is so crazy. This is what happened during the team's visit. Is Michael Jack have you met him? Do you know if Michael Jackson's here? After that, Michael began to make music. Is there someone here with us? Using dousing rods to communicate, Kelsey gets a reading. It's moving a lot. Look. Ooh. You did it. Are you the... Yeah. I'm so curious. While continuing to speak to Margaret, she confirms that the spirit is not related to Michael. Hey, I got a question for Margaret. Are you related to Michael Jackson? Does that mean no? No. Okay. Kelsey then really starts to become one with Michael. My heart hurts. Oh. Like a heart attack. This person. How did Michael die? I know. Heart that failure. Heart failure. Cardiac arrest. That was his. That was that. That was his cause. Of and at last, Michael reveals himself. Is this person here? Is your name Michael? Can you cross the dowsing rods in my hand for yes and open them for no? They are not alone. Ooh. It turns out something else is here. Are you Michael Jackson? Oh, it is. Does Michael have company? Are you a demon? Maybe he's playing out Thriller in the afterlife. A YouTuber named Joe's Paranormal TV decides to explore a haunted forest in Michigan in the early morning hours. The first thing they notice is how all of the trees look unnatural, like nothing they've ever seen before. In fact, the deeper into the forest they go, the stranger things seem to get. What was that? A metallic clang draws their attention, followed by faint cries in the distance. You hear that? Joe thinks he sees moving shadows and tries to reassure himself that he and his friend are alone in the wilderness. Still, his camera's batteries are draining fast despite being brand new, and now he feels like he's being watched. Joe's equipment starts to malfunction for a moment. It clears up just in time to catch this noise. It's creepy out here, man. It sounded like right up ahead of us here. It's the unmistakable sound of a baby crying. I think that they probably really did hear this, but let me know if you think it's real or edited. Anyway, they eventually find a clearing of slashed trees that have been rearranged into strange symbols. Maybe someone in the comments section can tell me if these are pagan symbols or not, and if so, what they mean and what they would be doing here. Eventually, Joe's terror becomes unmanageable, and he flees after he thinks he hears something close by. Strange voices continue to follow Joe and his friend as they make their way out. A street cam video from Papua New Guinea has caught something really bizarre on tape that I wanted to get your opinion on. A pale apparition appears to form under a street signal, and what it does next leaves government workers speechless. Okay. 
This ghost sighting could be a trick of the light. You can see the headlights of an approaching vehicle at 12 seconds right when the ghost supposedly flies up into the air. What they think is a ghost could be an optical illusion caused by rays of light bending towards the camera on a rainy day. A YouTube channel called DYP Official finds some kind of abandoned facility way out of the woods. One climbs to the top of a big blue container and sticks their head over the end, which is scary for reasons I'll get back to soon enough. Two other large vats grab their attention. Found a whole thing of sulfuric acid in the woods. Sulfuric acid. <laughs> Yo, please stop, bro, please. Bro. He would have kept turning the release valve had they both not shouted at him to stop. I don't know if it was full, but if so, he would have been in deep trouble and might not have survived an acid spray. In the shed, they find a gas mask and large science beakers used to hold chemicals. One of the vials is still full, so they take it outside for a better look until their friend grabs it from them. Right. Boom! Luckily for them, it doesn't break. Breathing in any unknown chemical, whether indoors or outdoors, could end up with them on the floor. Inside of an abandoned building, they find a label that got me curious. I googled what polyseed inoculum is, and the answer sheds light on what this facility really is. Basically, this is used to break down biological waste. They've been playing around in a biological waste treatment center the whole time, touching things that ordinarily require a full biohazard suit to handle. Whatever chemicals they were handling probably were not safe, and the air quality can't be much better. The type of place that could really mess you up after maybe a few visits. In other words, certainly not a place where you'd ever want to stick your face over an old chemical vat and take a big whiff. Who's hiding behind this mirror? This short clip posted by TikToker, Sion Wick prompts that question. Watch it snap this Pokemon card up. The TikToker writes, we're waiting for it to trade us back. In the comments, Reed Hart points out the black fingers at the mirror's edge at the beginning of the clip. Take another look. They look more like spider legs than fingers to me. But if that's the case, this guy's got a mad strong spider on his hands. This list is full of stalkers, and they all seem to have one thing in common. They like to stand still outside people's homes especially after receiving a note that said, I'll see you here after 6 p.m. Remember Mr. Slim. A few hours later, he heard someone or something outside his house. Camera in tow, he peered out his upper window. There was a man standing on the sidewalk below, wearing dark colors and what appeared to be a ski mask. As the boy dropped his camera to the left and then returned again back to the stalker, he found that the man had disappeared. So he did exactly what none of us would do. He raced downstairs to go outside and find the stalker, but the man was nowhere to be found. The boy said that he was starting to get worried and debated whether or not to tell his parents. Most in the comments section agree that he should, while others offer more sage advice. Next time, don't go outside. A family outing is interrupted when an unknown object floats towards them, barely noticeable at first if not for its shimmering color and odd movements just beneath the surface. As they curiously approach, they can see it's not an object floating underwater, but rather an unidentified creature, an unknown worm-like blob that makes one of them turn away in fear. This is his real reaction caught on camera. Tell me what language this is, and what's being said so we know where this video was taken from. At 37 seconds, a brave family member tries to grab it with their bare hands and back underwater the creature goes. They claim to have a second video which, as of this time, has yet to be uploaded.
According to them, the bottom of the creature has a face with one dark eye. Hopefully they upload part 2 of this creature sighting soon, so we can all see it. It looks real so far, but I will reserve my final analysis until then. In 2007, a YouTuber named Ben Ems uploaded this video made by his friend, Levi, who is reciting some lines for a play when something appears in the window. I wish you were here. The resolution is good for a YouTube video that's over 13 years old, so I don't think it's computer effects, but I do think it's planned. This is the reflection of someone who is probably standing behind the camera, not behind Levi. The upper corner gets brighter when they turn on the light to make the reflection appear in the window. So while this video is creepy, I doubt it's as real as Ben claims. If you've ever been in a bug swarm of any kind, you'll know it can give you chills. This mayfly swarm is no different. In fact, it's practically nightmarish. Oh, my God. When the mayflies took over this bridge in Iowa, snowplows were required to unblock the swarm buzzing in the bridge's path. In fact, the bridge had been so completely swarmed by the bugs that emergency crews were sent to the area. The nightmare scene turned into a scary situation after bikers tried to plow through the massive heap of mayflies but lost traction. Luckily, they escaped. The bridge's clearing was recorded by Tina Franzen as she rode along in her son's police car. Franzen said of the event, I've lived in Sabula since 75. I've never seen that many before, ever. To clear the bugs over the following weeks, it was decided by the Iowa Department of Transportation to keep the streetlights off near the bridge as the lights attract the mayflies. Here's hoping it all worked out for Iowa. They don't need any more of this nightmare fuel. In yet another CCTV video, a ghost possesses a woman at a store in China. In the video, you see a package fall on its own accord from the third shelf. It could have just been stuffed there, teetering on the edge, causing it to fall at the slightest breeze. Although it doesn't appear to be teetering, that's certainly a possibility. But what's strange is it appears to move for a moment before actually taking the leap, leading a skeptical onlooker to consider that it may also be something paranormal. What happens next will make you think the same thing. A female shopper, surprised by the sound of the package falling, turns to look, being considerate. She walks back, picks up the package, looks at it, and sets it back on the third shelf. The shopper drops the other package she's holding, as the possession seems to take complete control over her body. With one hand on the package, her head flings back and falls forward, back and forward, back and forward, as if in seizure. She manages to pry her hand from the packaging and turns her back towards it, but her body and mind are fully possessed. The demon takes control of her until another female shopper alerts staffers for help. They are seen gathered around her, trying to subdue her, but she won't be subdued. Her body seizes suddenly again, and the camera even seizes for a moment, as the three surrounding the woman are launched back by the demon's energy. We don't know what happened to the woman, whether the demon fled her body at this moment, or if it still possesses her today. I'm freaking myself out. Go away! A Reddit poster named Drexana13 catches an invisible watcher using nothing other than the face detection software of her Snapchat filter. She says she could feel someone breathing on her, and this does seem likely because more than once, the spirit gets as close as it can to her. <gasps> And is practically right on top of her as she backs into the elevator. But is it really a teleporting apparition? Or is Snapchat mistaking the dark circular areas between these lights as eyes? I think it's up for debate, but this Redditor seems to have made up her mind. 
Oh, and one last thing. It may have climbed into the elevator with her. There's a white light here that might be the reflection of her phone screen, but the movements don't quite match. So what do you think it is? YouTuber Stevanka, also known as Stephanie from 90 Day Fiance, is certainly no stranger to having bizarre moments caught on camera, but nothing could have prepared her for a creepy surprise like this. I don't really talk about paranormal stuff on my channel. The reality TV star thinks she could have possibly caught real evidence of a paranormal ghost sighting on her home CCTV system. Let's analyze the events and see if this spooky encounter is real or fake. One night, while entertaining her family, Stevanka casually opens up the security app to check her CCTV cameras. That's when she discovers some mysterious activity going on in front of her house. Eventually, it dawns on me like, that's a figure of a person. Within 10 seconds, the bizarre figure seems to transform into a solid white, ghostly floating form. Stavanka herself alternates between believing and not believing the activity is paranormal. I don't want to get anything wrong. So these are her exact words at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. I think it's a ghost. Everyone I've talked to, everyone I've showed it to, even skeptics are like, that's a ghost. So she thinks it's probably paranormal, which is fair, but I do have a theory. The porch light and the lamppost are reflecting light back into the camera, which could create this bizarre effect in the middle. But with that said, Stavanka has tried to recreate this scary moment many times, and she has a legitimate question. Maybe it was a, a glitch, but then like if it was a glitch, then why did it stop? Like why did it only happen that one night? I can't say for sure, but I suspect that one of the lights was out when she tried this again. I think both of the lights have to be on at the same time for this bizarre occurrence to happen. But if she did replicate this under the exact same lighting conditions and saw nothing, then it would prove that this is a mysterious figure caught on tape after all. Sometimes while ghost hunting, it's not the ghosts you have to worry about. Published by Proving Demons, this scary encounter with a live human occurred while investigating this abandoned home. Early on, they sent something inside of the house. After deciding there's no one there, they continue their investigation and end up recording this rather harsh whisper. Yeah. Place that harsh whisper mm. here. Someone doesn't want them there. And soon after blowing a special type of whistle, it's clear exactly who that is. The ghost hunters abandon everything inside and race off. Would you be able to get your stuff or write it off as a loss? Most videos of unidentified flying object sightings are out of focus or simply blinking lights. This one is the opposite of that. The video shows a saucer-shaped flying object sitting in an open field near forest and mountains. You can see at least one figure outside the vehicle standing to its left. A close-up shown later in the footage reveals that the creature is the quintessential Martian. Overly large cranium, long thin limbs and all. After the Martian returns inside, a launching sound is heard. As the vehicle's engine revs up, in an instant the saucer shoots straight upward. The suddenness of the launch causes the person holding the camera to drop the shot downward before racing away on foot. What would you do if you encountered this at the edge of the forest? I just know I wouldn't be sticking around to find out. I don't want to go to Mars just yet. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you. Thank you.